So to close out the season, we have the Broncos going up against the Chargers. Um, so the Broncos are terrible. <laughs> they have a, a third-rate quarterback, a third-rate head coach, and they've got some blue-chip talent players sprinkled in the roster with essentially depth players surrounding them in the starting lineups. Um, they thought that they were better than they were because everybody's got a really great memory of what the 2015 defense was like and what the offense looked like when you just added Peyton Manning to it. Um, Case Keenum's not Peyton Manning, so the offense didn't turn around enough and the defense lost too many pieces from that 2015 team that they haven't been able to replace. Um, Malik Jackson and Aqib Talib, to name a few, out of town, and uh, they took some much-needed toughness with them. So, um, the Broncos have a lot of major changes, so Monday morning I expect Vance Joseph to be canned. Um, they really don't have a better option than Case Keenum this offseason. The draft options are pretty bad for quarterback, and... Um, Free agent quarterbacks are not that great. I would say the only strong option for quarterback would be to trade for Joe Flacco, who's obviously no longer needed in Baltimore. Um, that's what you have to look forward to for this game. That's saying a lot, Broncos fans. Um, you're not going to win. It's. I mean, the Chargers here actually have something to play for. Um on the off chance that the Chiefs lose, a Chargers win gives them number one seed home field advantage throughout the playoffs. Isn't that nice? Um, coaches are not going to let their players think about, hey, the Chiefs are playing a really bad team, so that's probably not going to happen. No, they're going to say, until we don't have a chance, we need to be playing hard. So they might scoreboard watch after the half, but by that time, it's going to be too late. The Chargers are going to have such a lead in this game that it doesn't matter if they put their third string out exclusively and maybe some of their cheerleaders. The Broncos are terrible enough to even lose to them. So uh, the Chargers are going to win. They're probably going to cover the spread by a lot. And uh, the Broncos are probably going to fire their coach at halftime. So that's what you have to look forward to. Keep an eye out for my playoff, draft, and coaching carousel videos to come.